What is going on everybody? Welcome back to IYH Studio. Today we're taking a look at how to get contours for Canada and these are super high resolution contours. Everything is will be free um, and I'm doing one for Canada right now but I'll be doing one for the US so stay tuned for that but without further ado let's get started. So we're going to start off here at the Government of Canada Open Portals. Um, the link for this will be down in the description, but if you Google High Resolution Digital Elevation Model Canada in Google, um, this will be the first link. So we're going to scroll down to all of this. Now we don't need to worry about this. We're going to go ahead and click on View on Maps here. It'll open up a site uh, and it'll take a little bit of time to load basically a map of Canada. Uh, now, for example, I'm going to uh, just do a site in British Columbia in uh, Vancouver. I'm, we're going to go into the uh, University of British Columbia. So um, that's approximately over here. Now, to kind of see this better, we can go over here to layers. And I'm just going to switch off the, the footprints here just so we see the grid, but not really the, the fill. Um, so all these blocks are where we basically have data available to us. Now you can see that University of British Columbia is right here, and that's exactly what I want to grab the contours for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It'll tell me two basically um, footprints that we can download. Now you can expand this, and what you can actually do is it'll show you a preview. And here you can see this is exactly kind of the shape that we're looking for. So. Um, this is the footprint that we're actually looking for. We're going to go ahead and download the digital surface model. Um, actually, no, we're going to download the digital terrain model. Now, the difference between a digital terrain and digital surface model uh, will be explained in this picture. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put it on the screen right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on DTM, and I'd imagine that a lot of you guys are also more focused on the DTM rather than the DSM. So go ahead and click that. It will bring you and it'll download a TIFF file. So now that we have our TIFF, uh, we're going to go over to Google, download QGIS, which is going to analyze that for us. You can see here that there is a download Q QGIS. Now I already have this downloaded, but if you haven't, uh, make sure that you guys are downloading QGIS because that's what's going to convert the TIFF file into contours for us. All right, now that you have QGIS open, we are going to navigate to the file where you actually have your TIFF file. Uh, and we're just going to drag and drop into the layers in the bottom left here. Here you can see that it's already popped up and we're going to try to get the contours by going up to rasters, down to extraction and scrolling over to contour. Now, in the input layers, we are trying to input what we are trying to extract from. So that's the TIFF. So make sure you're selecting the TIFF here. If you have multiple layers, uh, interval between contour lines, this is going to be in meters. We know our data is in one meter. So we're going to put one. If you want one foot meters, you can put 0 0.305. Sometimes this looks well, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go with one meter. Uh, everything else you can kind of just leave as is. Um, and we're just going to hit run. So give that a second, depending on how strong your computer is, but I'll see you when it comes back. Now, uh, this process has finished. It took maybe like a minute. Um, and after that we can hit close. Now you can already see that the contours has been generated. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the background TIFF so everybody can see it better. Uh, here zooming in, this is kind of where the university is and there's a giant cliff that goes into the Strait of Georgia, I believe. Um, but yes, so what we have here now is already good enough if we want to export, but it's quite large and if we bring it into a software like CAD or Rhino or anything like that, it'll take a very long time to actually process. Now, before we get into making a polygon to clip this out, I'm going to show everybody that if you double click on the contours and go right here on the left where it says labels, you can actually label all the contours. So if I go to single label and make sure that the value is on elevation, um, obviously you can customize what it looks like. But to kind of give a preview, if I zoom in here, it's going to label all of my contours in numbers uh, and these can also be exported. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and switch that off. Okay, now we're ready to clip this, just this portion out because that's where I know the university is. So we're going to go ahead to the top left here and we're going to make a new shape file or 
shape file layer. Uh, and the file name is just going to be a site. Um, and then make sure that it is going to be a polygon and go ahead and click OK. So this layer right here is our site. We can go ahead and toggle editing. Uh, make sure you're in add a polygon feature. Now you can basically just draw, say I just want this part right here. I can draw that and then right click to basically complete the shape. Um, and there you go, that's our shape. So in order to basically clip this from this, we can go up into the uh, vectors. We can go into geo processing tools and we can go into clip. Now the input layer is what you are in clipping from and we want to use the contours that we extracted and the overlay layer is what we want, like the, the shape that we want to clip uh, and that is site. So we can save basically where the clipped is. Um, now you can do this to save to file. I'm just gonna save to desktop and name that uh, clipped contours. Go ahead and save that. And yeah, we're gonna switch on open output file after running. So again, we're going to run this and close that when it's finished. So here you can see a new layer pop up, which is the clip contour layer. If I switch everything off, you can see that we have just this portion of the site that we really need. Uh, and that's basically here for us. It'll be easier to load into any of the CAD programs. Awesome. Now we just have to export our contours. So we're going to go up to project. We're going to go up to export and then export to DXF. Now we're going to save this as um, contour clipped uh, over here on the right on the three dots. You can specify where it is. Uh, if you don't specify, it's going to be saved at wherever your QGIS is and in the bin folders, but I'm just going to save it on desktop. Um, everything else we can kind of leave as is, but make sure that you have the corrected layer. So the layer that we have is the clipped contour layer. So make sure we have that checked. Uh, here you can see some other options. Uh, if you were to have a text for labels, you can switch that on, etc. But we're going to hit OK, and it's going to convert that into a DXF, as you guys can see up top here. So yeah, so after it's basically converted it, you can see it and open it in any um, any application that opens DXFs. For example, if I want to open this in Rhino, I can just uh, go ahead and hit open. Um, make sure we have that selected uh, and everything's in meters. That's okay. Okay, that took some time, but it did open up. Um, so yeah, here you go. You can manipulate all the lines and whatever you need to do with it. But if you guys learned anything and enjoyed it, please leave a like and do subscribe. Um, make sure you leave your questions down in the comments as well. I will actually go through those. Uh, and also let me know kind of what content everybody wants to see or needs help with. Uh, I'll make sure to kind of address those. But yeah, please look out for the US one that's coming right after. I uh, hope you guys learned something. Subscribe, like, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.